Okay, so on to the next performance track, whatever it is, of Michael's musical memoir series, man. Uh, I'm, I'm getting tired of saying that this series is unbelievable. Just go straight back to the beginning of the series and watch everything straight through, right? Because if I'm going to point you into my favorite performances right now, I have no idea. I have no idea where even to sort of guide you and tell you which one is the best because they have all been absolutely brilliant it's just been a class act this entire series um anyway um the next one we're doing is marco borsato and marcel venendal de bestiming love um there is a message over here from uh, michael rater marco borsato is one of the most successful music stars in netherlands you've already heard his duet partner uh, marcel when you reacted to All in Vain by the band direct. I remember the band direct. Do I remember All in Vain? I don't know. Um, here are the English lyrics. Okay, cool. So we'll open that up and at some point in the video, um, we will pull them up and see what the song is about. But uh, yeah, let's get into the ne next one. Is this one the one that's going to be the average one? Have you ever? Have you ever? We actually got into a point where we we're asking for average music because it's been too good so far. Let's uh, rock and roll, man. See what we got. Let's go. This is going to be a sad one. Or not. I hear piano, I go to sad. For some odd reason. Choirs, man. I just can't for choirs. Sounds powerful than I said. Beautiful start. Ik lig op mijn rug in het gras en een schouderman. Ik vraag haar of zij misschien weet waarom wij bestaan. Waarom we worden geboren en straks weer gaan Maar ze zwijgt en kijkt me lachend aan Let's just go to the lyrics. Oh my god. Of course it's beautiful. Let's go. That's the wrong lyrics. Um what do we have over here? Wait a second. Give me a second. Let me just open up these lyrics properly. Okay, so it's called the destination. Just take this down. Let's read this these lyrics over here. I lay with my back in the grass and behold the moon. I ask her whether she maybe knows what we live for, why we were born and soon we will leave. But she remains silent and smiles at me. That's actually very, very beautiful. Okay, this is gonna be this is kind of like a philosophical song. I like that. Um, there's a reason she remains silent. She doesn't need to answer that question. Um, show me what I live for. Make me feel what I give one moment so that I know that everything has not been for nothing. Nothing is not, nothing is ever for nothing. I keep saying that. Uh, you can create your own rules and define them. You're, you're essentially free speech. Doesn't say essentially. I'm just adding that in. You're free speech. The game starts and that it will end is a given fact, of course. But there, there it stops. There, how do you know there it stops? How do you know there it stops? But okay, let's go with that premise for now. There's no blame, but every step has consequences. Yes, much like a chessboard. Um, yet you're alone in this game. Oh, I can't get a grip on where and why I am here. Why do you need to get a grip on that? Look for an answer to a question no one knows about. Maybe live in the question as opposed to always seeking the answer. Maybe the question is your answer. Uh, I wish I could play this game, but how do I do that when I don't know that the goal of this 
game is I'm supposed to be blind to blindly believe. I'm not supposed to. I don't. I guess you don't need to blindly believe, right? But believing in something is the very purpose of your existence. Maybe that's your answer to the question. Uh, that it has a random reason that no one can tell me why I live this life. Uh, and that everything comes down to trust and that I don't even come close to feeling it. Show me what I live for. Make me feel what I give. One moment so that I know that everything has been for nothing. Maybe the very fact that you wrote the song is that one moment, I would say, um, that could very well be a viable uh, um, um, premise to that. But who knows? Beautiful, beautiful, philosophical over there. I actually really like that. But let's not go into the philosophy of that because I will uh, make this video 50 to an hour long. <laughs> so let's just not go there. Let's just go. And kijk me laughing that the instrument the, the instrumentation in this went from kind of playing into the philosophical right so it almost sounded questioning with the way the instrumentation played there and the way he delivered that and then now it's going kind of into like a celebratory uh type sound essentially where it's like yes i'm asking questions but i appreciate i appreciate life i appreciate what i have essentially so it is all a journey and I, I'm, I'm going to celebrate that either way and the actual tempo of the music follows that <laughs> dancing the dutch aren't known for the river dancing oh, maybe maybe that's the the kind of song um but yeah oh, let's go <laughs>
Wow! That's beautiful. Maybe there was his meaning. Maybe the very meaning was in the piece that he created over here that is absolutely so beautiful, that absolutely touches people, that absolutely moves people. Do you know what I mean? Maybe there is no life after this, right? Think about it this way. Everything has an equal opposite. There's an up, there's a down, there's a left, there's a right. There's got to be an equal opposite to absolutely everything. And maybe there's an equal opposite to Earth. And maybe if you look at it to these two spheres and where those two spheres overlap and connect each other, there's a gap. And maybe within that gap, right, you come in as energy or call it whatever you want to call it, right? And you're here to fill a purpose that was never here before, to fill a purpose that was needed on this earth to teach somebody something to whatever it is to create something that's beautiful that absolutely moves people maybe there isn't anything outside of this existence over here maybe there is no eternal but the fact that you exist in this moment in this gap there's a purpose to it maybe that purpose is short maybe you're born and you die after five years old Maybe you're born and you die at 20. Maybe you're born and you die at 80. Maybe the duration of your existence is directly proportionate to the purpose that you were supposed to, to uh, um, 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 bring to this world. And maybe I needed you here for longer to fulfill the purpose. And when a child goes early, maybe their purpose was short-lived, but was here for a reason and only for that amount of time because of something because of something but every single being every single person i believe at least um, that comes into this into this beautiful um, world that we have comes here to connect in some way and to bring meaning and purpose in some way even if that purpose may be evil because through evil you see the greatest of humanity and maybe the most evil of people as treacherous as they are right shows humanity what it really means to be good to one another what it really means to fight for something you believe in there's a purpose to absolutely everything there's a purpose to your existence there's a purpose to you waking up there's a purpose to you uh, um, um, living and breathing and being here in this sphere right and uh, I don't think people should be looking for the answer and maybe sitting in and they should just live in the question just live in the question and let the journey take you where the journey is going to take you and wherever that whatever the culmination of that whatever the end point of that is which would be the end point of your life right whatever it is whatever you've achieved or haven't achieved everything is okay and it was and it is as it's meant to be i love you all please stay safe please stay healthy i'll catch you on the next one peace